Yeah, it was a heavy change. At least they gave him his, uh, his walk the wall back. Doom comes out on the center. Stone gets the force of away. Tico focus the one going down quicker. The Requiem comes out to scare away the rest of Singularity. But do they get the kill? They're going to get him low. I don't think he's going to tick out to the Doom, though. It's going to be incredibly close. There's going to be disruption out. Overgrowth as well. And it looks like Centaur's going to live. Has a stampede to work with. And he's going to throw it out. So they chase on a young... Oh, Lycan. Mop at the start. Knock it up. Lycan will go down as well. And down the side, Rubik will join his teammates in the grave. As it's almost a team wipe. But Young G gets away just in time. Young G gets away. But man, your morale did not get to play. You just... Perhaps they can find the pick off. They managed to do this once before. He's gonna do it again, they jump in, Doom out, onto the right target, Centaur won't be able to disengage his team, the Stampede. They're actually moving in a little bit deeper towards the tree line to high here, Hex is gonna come out, straight on the tree and protect to try and get rid of the Howl as well. He's gonna get him low, we'll be able to pop him in time, the BKB, Young G, charge up the Requiem, forced off away, Zitrax does get hit up by the Fear, has to eat the cheese to stand at five, but no marksmanship for him because they're on top of him, Stone Gate's gonna come out, Scalva, scaring him away, in the meantime, Dazzle's gonna go down, five back, come out from him, stomped on the two by Hester Joe, beautifully done, allows him to get on the Shadow Fiend, but no, he'll be the Mantra away, nice lift coming out, and there's the disruption to save Zitrax from the fall off damage, Requiem. Goes off from the death, actually, of Young G as he can't do anything in the face of the Medusa again. This has been Dazzle. the issue the entire game. GG, Modus it. Unity. They had, like, sometimes they would show some moments of brilliance, right? Like, I was born for, <laughs> I was born for this. Like, I mean, they can't jump the gun here. He should be there all the time. Iceberg can be there all the time. As long as he's behind his teammates, so he doesn't get Here they come. Door. Blinking. Lion starts up. Green Pool only connects with him. The horn's gonna come out now, but Iceberg is so far back. The Astral. Oh, no, he gets it in time. There's no Doom coming out. And now Lion will go down. Can they find more? Overgrowth's gonna be used. Iron almost dies because of the bomb straight away. And now OD gets hit up by the Doom. Iceberg will just run away. The buyback comes out from Excalibur as he did go down. They ping out on the V2. There'll be a TP away by General, which will be successful. Now V2 does Iceberg. have the doppelganger. Iceberg is. Actually, no, can he get the kill? Nice phase shift. They baited him in. No one was there to protect him, and as a result, they split up and die. V2 goes down as well, and Zitrax gets the triple kill with the horn. It doesn't matter how well Iceberg did in that early to mid game, because he's just unable to do anything during these Doom engagements. Tier 2 though, and starting to starve control away from Singularity as this will be the last out of tower once it falls. Once they make it falls. Work for it though. Yeah, because 3 is just healing it all the time, and Spectre and was creep skipping. Pushing. Mid. Jump in, stun comes out, Lestrac is pretty low, the Haunt's gonna come in so they can arrive in the fight, and OD has to ask for himself just to stay alive, BK by the Excalibur means he can fight, and Lion is already dead, stun hits on the two, we'll find them, gets rid of the Aegis, PL is coming up into a big mess, and they're already chasing for more, Slayer drags them away, should give enough time to escape, but Esther Joe's waiting, Dom's gonna be there, and he realizes what the real one is, the Doom is thrown out straight away, and Beast Doom will fall alongside his team, as Beastmaster is the only one to survive. Yeah, they just crushed them right there, not even Doom was committed on the OD, they Killed them twice without even using it. Your level 30 lash with age no, as well. Good luck getting for him easily. Splinter Blast does stun him up. Buys a little bit of time. Lincoln does get oh. pop. Dream cool jumping. Cool. Big looking good. Now they're gonna chase in the Doom's gonna come out straight away. And it looks like they're trying to burn through this more spinning line. And Wyvern will go down. The refresh gonna be used. Hester Joe ready to fight again. Still has that BKB and Doom to work with. And V2 going down his own magic. I mean, he can't stand his ground. ODS oh, to buy back as well. It's on the two carries to carry this right now. It's Beastmaster. He's still split pushing. They blink away now. He does force one back. That will reset the fight for the moment. Singularity no longer have that point to work with. And they don't have they'll a double have team, it. only one. They'll, they'll have everything. They have Refresher Orb. They can just re-engage in any way they want to. They have Doom up. They have Refresher on Spectre that she can use. Hex? Oh, General. General's dead. Back in the base. Hex is going to come out. Science Clips gets dropped. They find the kill of Spectre who will fight back and has the ability now just Refresh Horn in. Yours is there, and there it is to jump in. Look for the kill on OD when he goes down. It looks like it's time to call it. A Singularity have no intention of leaving Flight to Moose base. We'll run down PL and find the him as well. GG gets cool. It's a crazy game. A really great game to watch as well. And yeah, it did take us an hour. The first two games. The time has come. In trouble. Throws out the winner's curse just before he dies. 
Won't hurt Hester Joe this time around, though. Just keeping up the pattern of always hitting him. Now the reinforcements coming in. The bear just to get him away after double stun. Tries to do enough. The overgrowth comes out. The static storm as well. Looks like Slardar is already going to go down. Pikachu, he wants to eat up that cheese, but stun out. He is already dead. The BKB from Plant will allow him to chase him, but Lone Druid stands his ground with the truthful. He even tries the TP. I don't think you need it because your boys have got your back. Oh my God, what a game throw. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, that was so... Sanking maybe uh, three reach. of them already have it, so I guess maybe Sanking. I think Dream Protector might be better. Vision is all important in these fights. Who, who gets the jump determines the fight, right? Like in this fight, yeah. Singularity where And they go. No, pretty jump. deep. They don't have the overgrowth anymore now. Static Storm going down. Ember Spirit staying inside. And Bloodseeker can't use the BKB. It's still on cooldown. Pikachu with the second exorcism trying to make the place out the refresher gets picked up. We'll chase on his scout, but Bloodseeker's already down the bloodline and Tiny. Now he's going to go down as well. They're in a lot of trouble. They're going to buy back on the Tiny, but Pikachu Exorcism won't protect him from this. They're going to jump in. Big with a big avalanche play. Might buy a little bit of time. Yules comes out. Robert trying to move away. We'll leave the cheese to stay alive. And down to half HP. That Melina so quickly. The cold embrace to try and keep her alive. The win is cursed. Comes out. This is the big one. Dire Roar. Has he done enough this time? Pikachu. The Spirit Vessel is stopping him again. And Roar Roar Shot. He completely deletes him. And one slap to the face. Tiny tries to run away. Gets found on the high ground. Wyvern's going to go down as well. And it looks like one seven. They are crumbling here. They might even find the fifth kill as Slardar is used up. Hester Joe has got the fire strike. It looks like it's going to be a team wipe, and Singularity are just completely asserting dominance over 178. Right, because he's getting blown up inside of Static Storm with a loose fight. Uh, and then actually, Team Spirit. All right, they find a pick off. However, it's going to turn around. Overgrowth's going to come out. Static Storm as well. Slardar stuck in it, but BKB Pikachu moving in with the Exorcism. Looking for a play, but DNC four stops away. Hester Joe deals to buy a little bit of time. Slardar on the side. He's being wheeled away by, by the bear, and the bear coming out to ensure he cannot stun it up. He is dead and gone for 110 seconds. And on the side, there's still more to be lost. Ein will be brought down. Buyback comes out from Disruptor, so they still have the numbers of eyes on Singularity. Citrax though with the BKB. Stands his ground against the damage. DP trying to run away, but does get rooted off. Nefficent on the side. It looks like they're still down. Sticker, he's stuck in the kinetic field. Forced to fight. Will be brought down and killed off. And the exorcism is running out soon. Glimpse back onto Zyrara. A little bit too deep. No impact. He can have now. Bignum uses him as a weapon to try and fight back. But the refresher comes out. Nine with a second static storm of the fight to ensure they bring it out another target. Pikachu with the BKB exorcism refresh. He's trying to do what he can, but he's running out of heroes to support him here. And Zitrax, he actually doesn't care. He's healing up in return. He says, if I stay close, Octarine Core keeps me healthy and ensures that you will eventually die. The yours right at the end of his life as Pikachu will be bashed and killed off. Especially again with this bear chopping down towers. I don't know how they hold. Um, they don't. They just walk to the base, slowly die. Ember buys a bit of time BKB. Abyssal jump in, trying to nuff here, but the refresh comes out just in case. The episode of and the Sunning Storm. Everything on top of this blood stick, and he's gone. The root there, Pikachu can't even run away. Wyvern with a buyback, maybe a big win's curse play could be good enough, but they don't think so. The GG comes out, Singularity. It took them an hour, but they rounded out with a 42k net worth lead. And finally being able to assert dominance over the side of 178. Come on, you whippersnapper! Oh, it's gonna nightmare up Hester Joe to make sure they don't have any initiation. g still has that split, it's now level two. Definitely wants to use it. Tarani is out on the DNC. This time, it's not okay to die so quickly. The BKB activated by Jara Copped off. He gets hit up with the Doom, though. And now DNZ fighting on the side, but Dara has to back away because he gets hit by the Ice Blast. Split's going to come out, and Jara Copped up. Hold on the spot. They'll be able to reload him out. Meepo, Torrent on a free. That's too deep. He's in a little bit of trouble. He needs to get out, and he can't get out quick enough because they'll just burn through him with the Earth. I'll try to keep him alive and get him out quickly. The cooldown slow him down as well. And I'm just enough. He reloads him next to him. No! This is not how you get him out safely. Jibe waiting with a clap when he comes down. He's got a treat for him. On the side, the cool come out. They'll find a kill to Petsu, but they kill their own Meepo, essentially. I don't think he even knows what he done there. Looks like Doom is going to get nared up, but Zitrax might be baiting himself in a little bit here. As the call come out of two, but they actually hit up Hester Joe with the stun. Ice Blaster as well. The backfire comes out, and Cooker and Drum with Dara needs to actually retreat quickly. We'll be able to get away in time. The stun out with Axe, he will die in the face of the damage coming out from Jibe, and Jibe will give his life in return. And now they're looking for kills. Oh, you see the smoke dub? Let's go. 
He can't flick away. They stop him. The Ray is picked on to him. He'll use the shrine. He's home for reinforcements, but it's not going to come. It's cool goes out to try and protect the scalp. But there's Beamstra. They jump in. They'll be able to find Meepo as well. Two already dead. My back will come up for both of them as it is at the shrine. Madara needs to retreat quicker than this, though. He's still up by the ice blast. He's going to go down. The BKBs have been active. The Doom is out on Ayn. It will go down, but then chase on the other side, find a bigger target. Pets will be brought to the ground. And Hanska's BKBs run out soon. So he will retreat. But the E Blade's going to be there. The Nets as well. Looks like he might go down. Stomp is safe at the moment to try and hit off a few, but there's just too much lockdown. It's a retreat. Be happy that you got two big buybacks. Yeah. 